Hey, what's going on YouTube? I just wanted to make a tutorial to show you an awesome feature that allows you to highlight precedence and highlight dependence in Excel. So highlighting precedence allows you to see where an Excel formula got its values from. And highlighting dependence allows you to see how a cell is used in other formulas in your workbooks. And we are we all know about the arrows, right? And the arrows are good, but quite honestly, you might have an arrow that's with like 10 different arrows pointing to 10 different cells and in different workbooks, and that can be extremely confusing. But believe it or not, instead of having the arrows, you can have it to where the precedence, the dependence are highlighted. So let me show you. Here we have an example where we just have a simple kind of salary earnings thing. So we have Monday through Sunday, employees, and some random numbers where we have a total at the bottom. And we have a total lookup for any given day where you can go through and select whatever total you would like. But let's just say we, we wanted to see where this VLOOKUP formula right here, where this HLOOKUP formula right here got its values from. So to do this, we can go to find and select. Then we go to go to special. Then once you go to go to special, we can click right here where you can say precedence. Precedence. And you can do the ones that are directly only, so only directly is in formula or all levels. Um, for this example, I'm going to just, just have the direct only and click OK. And as you can see, it highlights all of these cells that are used in this formula. And let's just show you what it looks like whenever we do the um, all levels. Click OK. That's what it comes up as. So let's just say you wanted to see, okay, well, how are these total values used in other cells? So we can do find and select, do special, dependence, then we can do direct only. As you can see, it automatically highlights itself. And to show you what it looks like when we go ahead and select all levels, it automatically highlights itself. And now in this example, it doesn't look very complex, but if you have a if you have a, if you have a complex formula that's referencing a bunch of different cells or a circular error, and you're trying to figure out what the heck is going on, this is an having the cells that are precedence or dependence actually highlighted is an extremely useful kind of hack to know how to use. So that being said, I hope that you find this tutorial to be extremely helpful. If you did. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know if you have any questions, or comments, or concerns, or suggestions. Also, check out the links in the description for free stocks. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.